shot he just hit that was waved off because of the foul inside. And remember, he's had success against this Norse team. Tate. Up this is a quicker unit on the floor for Northern Kentucky. They can go with a smaller posse unit and get up and down the floor in terms of pace. Boach been playing a little bit more. The big guy, 7-1, who just locked that shot his 42nd of the year. Here he is on the inside of the left hand. Into Big 12 player of the year. He got stronger because he got pushed around a little bit last year. Yeah. So that was part of it as well. Missed both free throws. Already has eclipsed the 1,000-point mark in two years. That's a big number. Red Raider land, a local product. Colbert was anointed early. Absolutely. <laughs> Over two and good action by Texas Tech from the weak side. Breakdown defensively by Northern Kentucky. Here's the guy that's kept. Yeah. Excellent pass over the top by Culver. Really led Tariq Owens to that easy basket so he didn't have to dribble, but just catch and lay it in. Mark, the evolution of the young man's game of now becoming a facilitator, patient in the fast break. Allowing Owens to get to the open spot. Both trying to get rid of it to Robinson. They move it around. Three pointers. And Cove go for the jump shot. Consecutive stops is what you need because you can't just go back and forth. No, a string of stops or shutouts. Try and chip away. Get a put back on the offensive boards. Attack the rim. Get fouled. Make a couple free throws. And can set your defense and continue to try and get stops or shutouts. That's a big three right there. At creating the angle. And of course, Drew McDonald is only one of a number of guys who will defend him tonight. Sharp, Tate, and the player of the year, Drew McDonald, averaged together over 46 to go. Mark Hughes, who's the defensive stopper on this Red State Raiders team, has his first two points. They could use 10 or 12 or 14 points from him tonight. Tate, too strong on the three. Big threes in that uh, Wright State win over at the Nutter Center. Very capable, the big fellow, knocking down shots. We got a lot of big guys in this game that can play away from the basket. McDonald drawing a lot of attention. Nice 10. The Northern Kentucky lead is 11. Just want to get it under 10, get it to 8, 7, make the North sweat a little bit, put a little pressure on them. Right now, they don't feel that pressure. Here's Walton for third missed opportunity for Loudon Love. Missed the shot, missed the offensive rebound. Sharp. Gets it up, and it falls off. Another rebound for McDonald. Another good block out. They kept Love off the glass. McDonald with eight points and four rebounds tonight. Walton, a clear pass to the basket. It's a three-point play, and now it's a 14-point spread. Here's a deep he's getting major minutes tonight in the biggest game of the season for Northern Kentucky. Walton, major jump stop. And if he comes to mind, now it could be FDU and right in front of us, Northern Kentucky. Well, both of these teams, I mean, both of these teams, one, two, they really, they shared the title. Yeah. Tournament. They went last year winning Motor City Madness against the Cinderella team in Cleveland State. This year, it's one versus two in Detroit. Here's an eye, Robin. Now, when you look at Sharp and Tate, Robinson, they've done a nice job. Walton's knocked down a jump shot. Paint touches are not easy against this defense, so you gotta be solid on the outside. Northern Kentucky, seven for nine from three-point range. They Rising League Tournament Championship two years ago, and they won the regular season a year ago. Now they find themselves the number two seed and back in the Motor City Madness semifinals. Nice. Ten in downtown Cincinnati. About a, about a mile and a half from each. Let's talk about growing up. A Northern Kentucky fan, and both of his parents went there, Jeff and Christy. He's living his dream right now. Yes, granddad ace played at Xavier. Team. Trying to get some points and a quick stop. 
try to work their way back into this thing by the four minute media timeout. Sharp way up on the wind. I'd love for Fairly Dickinson. As, as Seth Greenberg would understand, it's no LIU where his father <laughs> starred in the heyday of the Blackbirds. Here's Tate. Long passes play into the hands of Texas Tech. They gotta create better angles as well to feed the post. And I think purposeful use of the dribble is gonna be a key. First half. Where's the offense gonna come from for the Norse? Tate, which to settle in. The chance to tie up this trip. Under 11 minutes to go, the winner advancing to the Horizon League Championship game and a date with number one seed Wright State. He can drive it, can he? Kept his pivot foot. Good pressure defense by the Norse in those last couple possessions. Now number five in whites and I Robinson running the show for John Brandon's club. They've got a guard on Norris. Maddox is guarding them. Nice look inside. Injury and this game's going to end about 11.30 p.m. By the time the winner gets back to the hotel, it'll be his shoes that he's accustomed to playing in. So you know how we are as players. We're superstitious. So yeah, I'm changing mine at halftime. <laughs> I saw your extra shirt and sport coat yeah, in the I green room. What's that for? I've got all kinds. <laughs> Scott Nagy looking for a couple more stops, maybe a bucket or two. Get this to single figures. They try the back door, and Wright State knocks it away. Got to keep this guy out of the paint. Ten on the shot clock. Tate gets it in and two footer. <laughs> hey, but listen, the force got it over the top. <laughs> you know, he has a little back pain a little bit from trying to stuff it in, but it's still two points. Chris Beard urging the fans on on the far side of the court. He likes the way his defense is playing and his offense as well. And the crowd is getting into it. Here's a floater that won't go. Uh, he, no, he told us that next time beat the street. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> is that what they call tough love? Yes, that's what it is. We saw what Tom Izzo yesterday. Maybe he has made his mark. Helped okay. recruit the dominator, Mike Dom, who's just gone over 3,000 points in his Jackrabbit career. Fantas Walton. If the Norse hang on, Two teams will be going to uh, prestigious postseason tournaments. Nice to scoreboard. Easy to do, Rich, with all that's at stake. Greg can't be playing essentially six players. Four of them are red shirts, two are freshmen. Faulkner tries a three. Any type plays that you can get baskets inside. Yeah, working in concert well there in that two-man game. Well, quick move to the hoop. Nice drive. Big job defending the paint. They love this kid, don't yeah. they? Very high on the seven-footer. Seven minutes to go. Wow. The right hand. He's got 27. Brad, how about the hesitation there? Just really smooth. Plus, it would help if he makes some shots. The path to the basket. You want to wall him off and make him score over you. McDonald, his first three. Got to go. A late clock. Great. Good Thank answer, you, right? Here's Walker all alone. And usually you can cash that one in for Billy Walker. That's the most open he's been so far. Xavier Hill Mays off to the left. Good challenge by Vogue. Just being 7 1 is good. Tate shot. Sometimes it's not a great shot. That's a good example right there. Yeah, no, he's that kind of player. It's hot and cold. 
Local kick. For yeah. Offensive rebound. Brechting, no. And now NKU wants the run. Nice. Euro step. There's Love. Surrounded by Norse. Hey. Sharp. Top clock. Edwards hoist one. Got to the rim, but that's all. Sharp. Feet underneath. A good one to Mooney in no man's land. Just throws one up there and almost went in. Rebound will come off. Adrian Nelson. There's a three by Walton. And half of the loose ball. And Northern Kentucky comes away with one of those valuable 50 50 balls. Robinson! Oh. Pinned on the backboard by Tate. Transition three. Got three. The rebound taken down by Walton. Walton pull up deep three. Got and run. Hey. And they do come up with a rebound. Tate looking to run. Drops it to Sharp for three. In and out. Altai Smith slashes three, comes up empty. Here's Joko coming down the left side. Robinson, two. And here they come again. Top team in scoring in the Horizon League. Forces it up and misses, and McDonald has the rebound. McDonald catch and release. There's Norris short on the three ball. Northern Kentucky. Their largest lead of the game. Hill Mays. No. Good challenge. That's seven foot one. We talked about it earlier. That's nice. Take the lead for vote on the perimeter. And less time banging inside. That's not necessarily all bad because he can do this. This rich. 12th time in 13 years this team has won 10 conference games. Here's Tate. His first shot of the